I said in my last video that I just got done watching to make sure that I wasn't being completely crazy that I would upload like a week ago about my coming out of the brony closet experience and if in case you haven't noticed yet I'm actually walking around my house because nobody's home. Ah! Love it when that happens. Um, uh, so before we get started, before I tell that story, uh, I just finished watching a remix of, oh god, I think his name's, I might be wrong, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, yeah, Dasha and the Living Tombstone, Good Girl, and it's the Silva Hound remix. I listened to that song a few months ago when it came out, and um, for the first time, and now just seeing the remix is really cool, so ha, I, I like both versions, I'll put it in the link below. The, the, I'll put the link in the description below, right next to the Facebook, Twitter, and probably soon a Tumblr. I don't know what's going to be on the Tumblr. I don't know. Seems like everybody's doing it. So I might as well join the bandwagon. Yeah, okay. So, without further ado, my experience with coming out of the brony closet. You see, what happened was, I went up here, hid in this closet, okay, just kind of went here, and when everyone was down, down there watching TV, I would just kind of, Hey everybody, I'm a brony. I watch My Little Pony. Friendship is met. I didn't really do that. That would that would have been funny though. That would have been definitely worth recording. Should have put that on YouTube. <laughs> okay. If that's how you want to come out of the brony closet, by all means, please do it. Film it or do it, film it, send it to me, and I'll put a whole You know what? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. If you are a closet brony, um film yourself coming out of the brony closet. Send your videos to me, and I'm going to make a whole compilation of them. Uh, call it Bronies Coming Out of the Brony Closet uh, 2013. I don't know. Um, yeah, that, that's great. Yeah. Send me all your coming out videos, and I'll compile them all together and have like a just enormous brony closet. I'm off topic again. Oh, yeah, you like that painting? I painted that. No, I didn't really. I can't paint. I can write. I can't paint. Um, anywho. So what happened was, I did this on two separate occasions when I was coming out of the burning closet. Um, uh, my parents were the, were the ones that I really was having a hard time telling. My brother, he just walked in on me once, um, while I was listening to some brony music, and he's like, Zach, what the hell are you listening to? And I'm like, um... Uh, <laughs> just some music, and he's like, Zach, open your computer screen, because I had my laptop, you know, the lid almost all the way down, I picked it up, and I was listening to Loyalty, um, and if, it's, it's a brony, uh, rock song, yeah, and, um, it had a big picture of Rainbow Dash, if y'all have ever seen or listen to that song, you know, the, the thumbnail is a big picture of Rainbow Dash. And he's like, Zach, you a brony? I said, yes, Josh, I'm a brony. He's like, I'm very disappointed. And so, he kind of lived with it. And then I was like, well, now that my brother knows, I might as well, oh wow, the lighting is terrible, I might as well tell my parents. So, I tried to hint that I was a brony, you know, like I changed my phone background to Rainbow Dash because I was, when it started out I was really into Rainbow Dash, now then it was like Rarity because, you know, Rarity is the best pony. Anywho, um, I tried like dropping hints and like stuff like that and eventually I just got fed up with it and one night I was in the car with my mom and my brother and we were talking about tattoos I don't remember why, and I was like, yeah, do you, do you see what, there's some bronies that get those My Little Pony tattoos, and I think that's going a little bit too far, and I do think that is too far, you shouldn't get My Little Pony tattoos, really, I'm serious, it's a bad idea, unless, you know, it's got like some huge significance to you, like life-changing significance, then by all means, go get that Rainbow Dash tattoo or Pinkie Pie, oh, 
Can't, I'm not going that way. Um, <laughs> uh, so, and then my mom was like, yeah, I'm so glad you're not a brony. I'm like, um, funny story, mom. I'm a brony. And she was like, what? I said, yep. I've been watching My Little Pony for like three weeks now. Congratulations. And she said, um, she, well, I'm not going to tell you exactly what she said, because I personally don't remember. But she was pretty tolerant of it. She didn't really think much of it. She's like, okay, well, our son's a brownie, so what? And so she was kind of cool with that. I'm like, but don't tell Dad. I'll tell him on my own sweet time. And she's like, all right, whatever. It's not like you're doing drugs or getting someone pregnant or something. I'm like, yeah, really. Um, so, and then there was another time in the car, and with my dad, and I pretty much told him the same way. We were on a topic about tattoos, because uh, someone in one of my, uh, it was my English 101 class, had just gotten a big tattoo on one of his arms. It was Grendel and Beowulf. It was really cool. Um, and so I told him in pretty much the same way, and he just kept driving, and, I, and he's like, just completely silent, and I said, is there something wrong, Dad? He's like, just very disappointed in you. And I said, oh, well, too bad. I'm a brony. Deal with it. Not exactly what I said, but I said pretty much the same thing. Pretty much exactly that. And then I told my, both my parents at the same time, you know, I'm a brony. I watch My Little Pony. I listen to the music. I read the fanfics. Um... I enjoy it. And they're like, all right, well, at least you're not doing drugs. It's great. My Little Pony's being compared to drugs now. Well, it is. I mean, <laughs> you know, you just mm, can't get enough of that sonic rainbow. What? That joke came across poorly. It was, I was going to make a heroin joke. I was going to make a joke about heroin, that I'm injecting myself with rainbows or something. But, yeah. And then, at one point, we were out. One day, and we're talking about it again, uh, the uh, My Little Pony thing. And my parents are like, "Yeah, we're we're really glad you're dating a girl, because if you weren't, we'd really be questioning your sexuality." Yeah, that kind of hurt a lot, but whatever. That's their problem, not mine. So that's my coming out story. Um, now I just kind of let everyone know, you know, mm, I watch My Little Pony. Shoot, in class this morning, I was. I had my laptop with me, and I opened up an internet tab, and that my Google Chrome theme, well, let me show you. My Google Chrome theme is Rarity. So, the chick sitting next to her, the person who I was sitting next to just started looking at it, she's like, what? and I'm like, I'm a brony, don't judge. And this is my theme. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> um, so, yeah. See, the way I see it, there's a few stages of becoming a brony. Or, of, after you're a brony, the uh, different degrees. You start out and you're like, oh my god, nobody can know about this. Ever. My life would be ruined. And then you're like, well, I'll, I'll just tell a couple of friends. It's not, it's not that big of a deal, right? And then you're like, you know... I should probably tell my family about this. And then, at some point in, in there, you're like, you know what? Screw it. I'm a brony. Let the whole world know. Get, get a t-shirt with brony written on it. Yeah. That's how I roll. Animal print pants out of control. That's an old song now. <laughs> Sexy and I know it. Yeah. Wow, that's been going on for almost ten minutes. <laughs> chatty today. Tired, can you tell? Can you tell? Tired. I haven't gotten any sleep all week. Well, I've gotten a few hours. I just don't go to sleep. I just <laughs> stay up and ungodly hours of the night and wake up way too early. Uh, like, last night I stayed up till like, God. No, nah, last night I was, I just crashed at like 11.30. I woke up at 8. It's not too bad. But the other night, I went to sleep at 3 and got up at 
Um, so yeah, that's what my week's been like. Uh, so back on topic. Uh, your coming out experience, uh, ways of doing it. Here, here's a few ways of doing it if that's how you want to handle it. One, you can just go up to your parents or whoever you're coming out to. Just stand in front of them. I watch My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And then see their reaction then. Or do a little more subtle, or do it like this. Mom, Dad, there's something I need to tell you. I don't know if you've noticed any uh, anything different about me, but I'm gonna come out to you now and say I'm a brony. I watch My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. That'll give him a heart attack. To yeah. Um. Or if you want to tone tone it down a little more. Uh, you know, just like tell them individually like I did or leave hints or just leave your computer up with some My Little Pony on it. Let someone find it and they'll be like, what the hell is this? Be like, oh, that's mine. I watch My Little Pony. <laughs> or try and be subtle, like self-sabotage. Kind of like that, but less extreme. Like, like that last one. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, just like change your phone background to your favorite pony and listen to brony music loud and uh... you know minimize tabs when people come in the room and things like that just be really sneak try to be sneaky but not at the same time that's what i was trying to do but my parents couldn't figure out what i was doing they're like eh, okay whatever he's just hiding his phone from us not a big deal uh... so let's recap oh yeah here we are in the mirror <laughs> 